Hello friends, today I'm going to show you uh, how uh, we can fail over one, one door to another node. If we do that, we have to track who did that. So one of my subscribers asked me how we can verify who fail over from which node to which node. So we want to track that information. So to see this practically, um, yes, it is possible uh, in some uh, in one context here. I'm having node 1 and node 2 so um, here I'm having a uh, node 1 and node 2 so currently node 1 is the primary uh, sorry secondary so I, I am uh, doing the failover activity so select select connect here I am connected with the uh, Harsha 1 2 3 okay next so this user is going to do failover okay click uh, finish see if you see the date here so 14th uh, 6th month one uh, at uh, 1 hour 25 am okay in the virtual machine okay click close that so to identify who did the activity so uh, for that uh, by default we are having some extended events on always on for that go to management uh, sessions uh, always on and expand that you need to open the package file click view target data here uh, select uh, always on ddl and executed filter this value okay so click apply so here uh, you need to uh, uh, just write um, filter that the time um, in our designing order so if you see that it was happened at uh, 23rd I mean uh, it was happened at uh, like 13 means one day back so one thing what you need to identify is the events will get triggered in the event file will get uh, by five minutes late okay so don't worry about that i will show the past and also current event as well okay so whenever you execute this uh, file filter this uh, who did that activity so once you are in uh, filter all these values see that so if you see here expand that so come here so availability group name is text also oh, using the uh, I mean uh, my SSMS I have done failover from which node I have done failover from node 1 so if you see that administrator this is the old one not new one okay so this AD administrator has done failover so similarly see Asha 1 2 3 these are all old events okay so just uh, so instead of going through that i'm having uh, so i will just closing that i will show the latest one uh, in after five minutes so here i'm having one um, query to fetch that the same data from uh, extended events so the problem in his query is it will only filter the latest uh, events only okay and that too very limited so if i click execute here see here you will see the timestamp so on 30 i these all re getting recorded on 30 only 13th only so if you see that so here we can clearly see that so uh, these two times administrator user uh, has done failover uh, so this is the command okay so I mean uh, whatever you if you do the same thing like uh, T sequel or everything it will show the same command only okay so after just wait for five minutes and uh, it will I will show you the latest one as well Let's keep this open and uh, hmm. so if I see the latest one so in the primary replica which is in current node 2 
so you can see that in the uh, latest primary replica it was 14th okay so 125 uh, am okay if you now you done see here so i think uh, i have connected with the abc administrator okay so it is showing that uh, yeah see that no no sorry so now if i execute uh, see when i click here it will showing that arsha 123 it means by seeing that we came to know that uh, using arsha 123 it got change okay it got uh, man failure was done by this user so if you see again here so i'm having two events here so see using this so you know that client app name is like ssms uses one provider like dot sql client data provider okay sometimes it will show ssms or somewhere it will show that the client uh, which is using by ssms okay so it was done by using node one so all this in this is how you can track the information who did the failover so now what i will do i am uh, copying this information i am coming to new query or uh, node to click execute yeah now you will see the filter the latest one okay so this is the these are the two the latest one so here you came to know okay so this is how you can come to one conclusion that who did the failover and from which app or from which node if they have started everything you came to know so i am going to give this query and uh, in the description box you can get it and you can use uh, please uh, explain i mean uh, please do comment uh, how it will be useful for you so that i will uh, i mean i will get an idea from where uh, in which on which areas are that i need to focus i hope you may like this video thank you